In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Hi everybody, welcome to the Satellite of Love. My name is Joel, I'm still marooned out in space and if you just tuned in, I guess so are you. Uh, we're expecting a call from the nasties who uh, shot us up here any second now, right? Uh, by the way, if you're going to go uh, during the commercial and make a snack uh, while you're digging in the refrigerator, think of me, uh, get something delicious and nutritious uh, because I'll be eating vicariously through you. So. Commercial sign in five, four, three, two. Commercial sign now. Be right back, okay? Put it through the hoop, Joel. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, try not to look so happy, you guys. Here come the mad scientists. They're calling. Come in, Joel, my little free-floating vacuum monkey. Hey, sirs, what's up? Well, not my hair. It's limp and lifeless. I don't know what to do. Just get out of the invention exchange. Stop looking at me! Uh, yes, uh, what have you got for us, Joel Arini? Well, sirs, the things that I've been working on is this new way of teleporting food. In the future, they're not going to have drive-through windows anymore. They'll have drive-by windows. You just drive your car, car by and they teleport the food right into your stomach using something like this. Okay, I put this on, look at an ordinary cookie, and whoa, delicious. Mm -mm. Now here, we'll try it with a glass of milk. This is the big Slurpee size. Hey. It went down. Mmm, mmm. Teleportation. What do you think, sirs? Oh, very nice, Jolly Cakes. Uh, Larry, make a note to call James Doohan. Oh, here's our new development, an entirely new concept in oral hygiene. Yes, we've employed some of Hollywood's top stars to help us with our new mouth-to-mouth -mouth celebrity toothpaste. Feel the cleaning power of the star's internal juices as they go to work on plaque and tartar buildup in your mouth. There's Jack Nicholson from Witches of Eastwick. <laughs> Mr. Creosote from Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. Somebody get a bucket, I'm gonna throw out. And Linda Blair with real head cranking action. Your mother flosses in hell. Well, what do you think, Joe Larini? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think four out of five dentists are gonna recommend psychotherapy for you two. Thank you. Well, Joe, your film today is called Moon Zero Two. It's a late 60s romp through the then lunar crazed consciousness of America. And <laughs> believe me, it doesn't stand up to the test of time. <laughs> Stew on the broth of this one, lumpy boy. Enjoy. Oh, we got movie set! Oh. It's in color. Yeah, really bad music already. This is great. Hey, the cartoon has landed. Is this a Pink Panther movie? No, uh, I think it's uh, like 
NASA simulation kind of like. Why would they use cartoons? Oh, so astronauts could understand them. Ah. Hey, I didn't know the Russians had cartoons. Is this Peculiar Clark singing? Peculiar Clark. Peculiar? Titles by Mrs. Reedy's third grade. Hey, he's on the other side. He's where you were. Circle the moon. Exactly, good. Rocket, Joe. You look like Goldie Hawn on Laughing. Except for the hair. And the body. Hey, it's 60s glass nose. Hey, that's old glory, just, oh. Thank you, guys. We'll let you know. Oh, look at that. He's beating the titles out of him. You still get teleporter thing. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to do a thing where I... Put this on and eat popcorn that's in the galley later on. Maybe I'll keep it. Hey, great club. No atmosphere. I can't believe there's a cover charge on the moon. We're riding the moon. No atmosphere. No atmosphere. The whole movie like this, you guys? Well, I hope not. I don't think I can take two hours of this song. They're trash. Cartoon's cool, though. Are those the blue beanies? <laughs> oh, that'd be, that'd be wrong, Paul. That's good to be Hey, it's Donald Trump. He's chasing the good guys away. Doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense. Hey, look, it's the film. Whoa. Uh, Houston, I just spotted an animated cartoon on the surface of the moon. Come in. Looks like they're shooting this out of the back of a van. It's a renegade air conditioning unit. It's an orbiting garden weasel. And an orbiting f space ferret. <laughs> space ferret, get it? He's going out to a space gazebo. It must be cold. This thing is huge. Huh? Looks like a little orbiting ice machine. Uh, Houston, our central air is here, but uh, they didn't send the duck work over. Boy, I hope it's under warranty. There's a pretty big hole in that thing. He's got the Nintendo Power Glove there. Oh, they, they, they put the danger warning light right on the middle of his back. Space is a gamble. Darn those space coons, they got into the garbage again. 
Honey, we're getting those rubber made cans. This isn't gonna happen again. I'm not going in for this. Boy, it's really quiet in space, isn't it? Yeah. Except for the distant sound of trumpets. Maynard Ferguson's out there somewhere. So, was it the raccoons, honey? Sort of seems like a waste of cargo space to bring along a conga band. Darn coons in my rickin' frackin' sumin homin' mouth. Oh, he's got VPL in a bad way. Why don't we ever talk anymore? Hey, were you messing with my stereo? The treble's all thrown off here. Let's go back and look at the moon. Maybe they're showing the feature now. Moon Zero Two calling Moon Control. Moon Zero Two, this is Moon Control. Zero Two to Moon Control. Moon Control to Major Tom. Two minutes from outer approach, request landing instructions. He's got Playtex living elbows. Look at that. Uh, 157, decelerate at 1.8 G. Zero two, understand. One five seven at one point eight G. Over. Snap it up. Zero two. This is Pan Am Moon Express, and we're just ten minutes out. That is your hard luck, Moon Express. First come, first down, and you are an hour behind schedule. Hey, he flipped him off. We're gonna have to jettison your mustache. You realize? Here we go then. Hey, look, there is a man in the moon. Spaceways announced their arrival of flight X. There's a space blue light special in quadrant B9. If you're Moon Zero Two, I wish you'd sell that thing along with all the other space rubbish you collect. Huh? You're a Don't say man. hi. I think I caught the name. I'm the second officer of the Moon Express. You delayed us for nearly two minutes. If you took off on time, you might land on time. I don't see I that my... I seeing our passengers through customs. I was just telling this man... You can't tell this man anything about anything. But feel free to tell him something about nothing or a little about a lot. Uh, you'll have to One excuse my friend. He's kind universe. of a weenie. Thank God not all of them make it. Dan, get this over to the scrapyard with your permission. And don't take anything less than 12,000 moon dollars for it. I'll try. I've just got time for a shower. Uh, I want to talk to you, Bill. Mm. Why not? My name is Tuffin. Please, uh, turn and face the immigration identification computer, please, miss. I'm here for the Gumby wedding. Test your love. Flaming. Great. Is there a message for me? The message desk table there, miss. Good evening, Mr. Hubbard. Wow, it's Castro. I'm sorry, Mr. Hubbard. I hope you enjoyed your trip, sir. No more or less than a hundred other trips I've taken. Where's the armor all? That's a nifty little charmer. J.J. Hubbard. So that's a hundred percent Hubbard. <laughs> is he always like that? Sir, to the likes of us. Sometimes he's fifty percent. What does he want up here? Uh, I don't know. Are you Probably getting shorter, Bill? Of the moon. If it was mine, he could have it. Cheap. Listen, I was uh, talking to personnel back at Earth Base. <laughs> They'd still like you back in the corporation, Bill. They're starting exploration flights again? No. No, sorting boxes. But, uh, when they outfit the first flight to Mercury, tell them to call me. Come on, Bill. You know the answer to that one. They we don't have your engines, number. It's not listed. Stuff to line the rocket tubes for journeys like that. We've got regular flights to Mars and Venus. What more do you want? 
I'm not coming back into the corporation on Come on, passenger you get that runs. shirt at a Molly Hatchet a concert? Pilot, not a mechanically minded wet nurse. Thank you very much. <coughs> Someone has to be a passenger pilot. What's that you say? I said, someone has to be a passenger pilot. Can't hear you. Forget it. I'll, I'll buy go drink. get the rest Back of your down. shower door. Hey, Thumbelina. Uh, sorry, miss. This area is out of bounds to passengers. Um, I'm looking for Mr. Goodbar. Captain Kemp. Oh. Uh, well, he's in there. He's uh, doing something just at the moment, but he won't be long. Go right in. Thank you. Hey, your calculator's on. Right there. Oh, boy, is she ever gonna... Hey, what are you looking at? Oops. <laughs> what are you doing here? I, I was looking for Captain Kemp. This place is reserved for space personnel only. I'm up. sorry. Are you Captain Kemp? Will you go away? Look at my stripes. Of course I'm oh, Captain no. Kemp. No! Monorail to Moon City oh. will depart in seven minutes. Oh, hi, Gumby. Otto? Otto got killed? A couple of days ago. Yeah, we're dedicating the locker room to him. Oh. Retro engines failed on landing. That's what I heard. Went straight in. Crunch. You gotta put that thing outside where people could read it. Passengers wouldn't like it. Would worry them. Hmm. Yeah, but to make it a splash so. guard for a urinal? Did you get the 12,000? Here, I don't need it. I already have Pete Rose. Hey! He flew the same sort of space ferry you got, didn't he? Mm-hmm. His was a little bit older, that's all. A little bit wiser. Something to think about. <laughs> they dress their stewardesses like Nazis. Leaving right away, Mr. Hubbard. Magazine? Yes, it is. He doesn't drink and he can't read. But he still has feelings. Jeez. Mm. They're so rich, they go to movies and they don't even watch them. Janie. Hello, Bill. You look great. When did you join the guard? The uniform. Right after I turned in the Von Trapp they family. They really on the inside, though. Got a seat? One up front for the captain. This is Captain Kemp, Miss Tapton. You said... I'm always at a disadvantage when I haven't got any clothes on. <laughs> I never noticed it. Well, what did you, you want to see? Do you think I look like a zucchini? She Your looks like Dot Vader. Facebook told me you fly over to Farside occasionally. Mm -hmm. I wondered if you know my brother. Gary Larson. Wally Taplin. He's a miner. Mm, no, no, I don't think I know him. He was supposed to meet me at the spaceport. He's probably waiting at Moon City. That's what the man said. Don't you listen to what the Check man says. Your first time up here? Mm -hmm. well, that yes. would explain the stupid hat. And I suggest you look up front. While I check out the rear. Mm. My God, it's so bleak. No air, no vegetation, one-sixth gravity. Yeah, but on the good side, there's no Howie Mandel. Sunlight, 14 days and night. I suppose bleak is as good a way as any to describe it. Yeah, and everybody gets their own movie. We always will be. Some are more foreign than others, Velvet Head. Perhaps we should never have come. In the future, bras will grow on the moon. Cross my heart. Hey, it's the original Space Mountain, what do you know? And look, the line's still long. The monument there is where Neil Armstrong landed back in 1969. Of course, that's just the model. The real thing's a lot bigger. 
and the ice mines. The what? Ice mines. They're layers of ice a mile down. Meld it into water and you drink it. Break it into oxygen, you breathe it. Crush it and flavor it, you got a Slurpee. Hydroponics laboratory. And decups as far Lots as the eye can see. Oxygen. When they die, we eat them. There's nothing like it anywhere else. It's funny to think that. With no air out there, nobody can just open up a window. Well, we've Straight done that, out. but you just have to be really fast. Captain Kemp, I'm afraid we have no reservation in the name of Mr. Wallace Taplin, nor have we any messages for a Miss Clementine Taplin. However, uh, I... Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Don't you have to go make some elfin cookies? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like an Oompa Loompa. Oh, cookies, just light. The monorail doesn't go any farther than Moon City, so he'd be coming by bug. Bug? It's a way you get around up here. They run convoys of them over to far side. To it's bring like a minerals. moon base. But it's a slow business. Vroom, vroom. Where's his claim? Spectacle Crater. Now. Well, the water's he turned off here. on the fountain, so I can show Down you uh, where he is here, right there. The nearest base is far side five. Now, that's at least 2,000 miles to Moon City. Six days by convoy. That means it takes longer to get from one side of the moon to the other. Ah, uh, no, but thanks for right. playing. That's right. What about your spaceship? Ferry. It's only a moon ferry. At least he's Slow open about it. Do it in 20 minutes. I suppose That's I to because this the is the future. Arrives. But I can send a radio message, can't I? Mm -hmm. To see if he's left. Oh, well, no. Uh, well, you could have last week. You see, we use a ring of communication satellites for relaying waves around the curve, but one was hit by a meteorite. So we're out of touch with Farside right now. 21st century. It'll still be the same in the 25th. I suppose so. Um, we're almost walking off the Thanks set. Uh, would you mind uh, oh, come on, going the other way? As all that. Splurge out. Buy yourself a new outfit. You'll feel better. Oh, we better get out of here too. Welcome we're walking to the galaxy the Can I help Look at you? That <laughs> On July 22nd, 1969, a man first set foot on the surface of the moon. His name? Vince Lombardi. No, <laughs> see, it's Neil Armstrong. This is our tribute to astronaut Armstrong and the men who brought him to the moon. Crow will play the part of Neil Armstrong. That's one small step for man. Save it! What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Joel will play the part of the second man on the moon, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, and President John F. Kennedy. I'll play the part of Mission Control and astronaut Michael Collins orbiting the moon. Okay. Ready? Okay. Cue Joel. Ask not what your country can do for you, rather what you can do for your country. It was 1962 and a young president, John F. Kennedy, makes a bold <clears throat> promise. By the end of this decade, we will send the man safely to the moon and return him safely home. Uh, not bad, Joe, but you know, you sound a little about a little bit like Cliff from Cheers. Ugh. This is my big scene. Not quite ten years later. Oh, thank you. Thirty feet down two and a half. Picking up some dust. Thirty seconds. Contact light, okay. Engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys down here about to turn blue. We're breathing again, thanks a lot. Thank you. No, no, okay. I'm on the pad now. I'm jumping off. Ugh. That's one small step for a, a man, one giant leap for mankind. <laughs> okay, here I come. I'm coming down out of the lunar uh, module. Uh, hey, Joel, how come your costume's not very good? Oh, well, I had to be the president and Buzz Aldrin, too, oh, okay? okay. Jeez. Oh, man, did it? Do you have your keys? I just locked ourselves out of the lab. No, what, you what? Oh, wow, oh, that's we, one, I'm gonna, one small screw-up for you, one giant screw-up for you. I'm gonna have Thus to go our find pageant. that uh, thing.
that? I don't know. Whoa. Yowza. They're wearing Othello game pieces on their head. Othello. You know, I kind of miss them on you guys. I can see why. Hey, Crow, you can't be wearing that. Come here. Ow, ow. Oh, thank you. Hey, it looks like Liza Minnelli and Lola Falana had a garage sale. I miss him too. He's a very good customer. And a good man. And a good pilot. As pilots go, he went. Moonflower, double. Ah, uh, the name's Bob, right. if you don't mind. It's an old-fashioned Pampers Punch. Pampers Punch? Yeah. First one's on the house. He didn't buy me a drink. Nice bar. Really crummy atmosphere, though. <laughs> <laughs> that one will live forever. Yeah, a lot of mileage there. Still tastes like distilled rocket fuel. It is still still the rocket fuel. That's easy for you to say. How much is cost this week? Uh, Thirty-five dollars a shot. You see, we're a long way from a long way from Scotland. Hey I'm... pal, I've got a small well, part. Let me finish my own I lines like if you don't mind. Goodbye in Scotch. But I haven't got thirty-five bucks a shot. Isn't it about time you got hungry? <laughs> a good point, my captain. And so the gallant space engineer passes into the great unknown of Joe's old time moon. Pizza Time shows. Theater. Perhaps never to return. He was out of von Beck's engineer for a couple of years before he came to me. Maybe he's just glad to be alive. Sure, all engineers are crazy. Hey, that's a pretty broad statement, pal. What did you call this pompous punch? No, it's bile. Why? It tastes more like Tijuana brass polish. Good one. <laughs> it's Moon Zero Mostel. You know what their answer is. Hair pieces by Alexander Calder. They're doing the no dance. No, 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 no. Could have just said hello. Hey, how are they making that noise, Joel? That's no way to treat a phone friend. I bought it a drink. What more can a man do? Well, maybe get it some dinner. Gentleman wants a word with you. You can tell him to go to hell instead. Mr. Hubbard wants to see you. Old hundred percent Hubbard? L. Ron Hubbard? Old Mother Hubbard? Say so. You can go a hundred percent to hell. Let's just go and see Mr. Hubbard. Convince me. I'm convinced. Oh, it's a gun. I'm convinced. Will throw. Oh, Ooh, stupid. Let's moon him. Come on. Honey, fix your dress. Unity chest. Yeah. Go to jail. Move directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $500. Hmm. Would you stop sucking your thumb? Oops. What are you going to do? I'll go to jail. Now, while you are in jail, I foreclose on the mortgage and I bankrupt you. Neat. Well, then I'm not going to be community chest anymore. It leaves you 19,000 short. Wow, you owe me nice 17 pocket cents. calculator. Whitson, did yeah, that if you're a salary. kangaroo. And don't forget the interest. I'm not interested in interest. Hmm. That will hmm. be Harry with our guest. Hmm. <laughs> Do you bathe? Fourth floor, tyrannical tycoons, loose women. Work.
works every time. <laughs> Don't anyone talk. Now, why didn't you say so? Oh, I was concentrating well, on my men lines. Play with guns on the surface floor. One shot, and we'd all have been breathing empty space. So that's why you didn't try to take it off me up there. Well, there had to be a reason, didn't there? Not necessarily. <laughs> Sometimes people take it for no reason. Uh, your reputation didn't exaggerate, Mr. Kemp. <laughs> Perhaps I should apologize for sending a man like Harry to fetch no, the I'm just wild about Harry. First man on Mars. Is that who I am? A long time ago. And now you're flying a ten year old space ferry and salvaging dead satellites to sell to the junkyards. It's a Don't talk thing. about Sarah that Mr. Kemp, way. hardly. Uh, you stop fiddling with that thing. Mm. But I've never been to Switzerland. But the only thing worth seeing are the banks. Grr. I think you knew Otto von Beck. An auto on the surface of the moon? It'll never work. And I believe you are the only other pilot on the moon with a ship for charter. Otto was going to do a little job for me. Now? 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 Do you know the asteroids, Mr. Kemp? Sure, I have Atari. The remains of a planet which exploded or was never formed. Some of them grains of dust, some the size of small moons, and everything in between. You're making a spectacle out of yourself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't he look like the head of chaos? Orbit. Yeah, I was just thinking Some that. Never named, never charted. Bernie Coppell? The orphans of the solar system, Mr. Kemp. The guy from and Mad you Girl. Want to become a father. <laughs> Is that how it works? You can't set up a mine on an asteroid. The cost of flying the equipment up, the supplies, bringing the ore back, it never pays. Not mine it, Mr. Kemp. Land it on the moon. Land it? You mean crash it, and that's against the law in a big way. He's yeah, right. Just ask John Landis. A young pilot might drop it on Moon City. Well, we don't do things that way. You would have the results of two years' research to help you. We Good Lord, he's ugly. Pilot on the moon. He's so immense. So what's so special about one asteroid? It's worth bonus points. You go into the next screen. yourself when you get there, so I may as well tell you now. Wilson. I don't even know my name. Too small to have either a name or a number, the asteroid was first photographed in 1998 when it happened to pass close to the Earth. But it was never investigated or plotted. Until two years ago. This film was taken by Mr. Hubbard's astronomical division. I'm sorry, that's the my goldstone. The barely 60 feet by 30 by 30, estimated mass approximately 6,000 tons. Heavy. This is me playing breakout. Do you read spectrograms, Mr. Kemp? Some of the easy ones. This all looks like aluminum. It's very good. It's quite similar to aluminum. But an aluminum that, that Richard Shields stupider brother in the heart of an exploding planet hundreds of millions of years ago. What is the name again, Wilson? A ceramic crystalline form of corundum aluminum oxide. Or something yeah. like that. Sapphire, Mr. Kemp. I love sapphire. Sapphire. She's great. Six thousand tons of gemstone sapphire. Okay. That's what's so special about this asteroid. Well, that's my birthstone. I'll do it. Well, it sounds like a nice profitable idea, but it's still against the law. I'm so is your scotch. forehead, though. We understand that you're already in trouble with the law on safety regulations. Mm -hmm. The Bureau wants to ground you. Oh. Come now, Whitson. That's no way to treat our guests. Yeah, he's too old for grounding. Mr. Kent must be entirely free to make up his own mind. Which is great for him. And just suppose I freely make up my mind to come in. What do I get out of it? Don Pardo, show him what he'll win. A brand new space ferry? <laughs> Hello. Could come in handy. Or the one tomorrow. 
But at that price, you could get your own ship, get your own crew. But not secretly. You see, someone like myself starts to outfit an expedition into space. Well, it attracts questions, snoopers. Snoopers and blabbers. Investigations from the Bureau. But you, well, you just pop off into space on one of your scavenging hey. flights, no questions asked. And a few days later, an asteroid just happens to land on the far side of the moon. And since nobody's bothered to plot it, nobody can say that oh, it didn't Oh, thank you, Vidal Sassoon. I don't look good, and you don't look before. good. Hey, her boots are eating her. That's her tribute to Bronco Nagurski. She was in yards of leather, I think. Us unsalaried workers have to keep working. Ouch. Ouch. That looks like quite a heavy load you have there. What is it? Oh, some experimental propulsion equipment I want to test in space. Sure, do you get it from a honeymoon catalog? Up, up, up. Section 47C, paragraph 1. No information about commercial or industrial secrets need be disclosed without the authority of a moon court warrant. But I'm paraphrasing, of course. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Everyone says that, but no one ever tells me the other way. Good luck, Bill. You'll have to marry that girl, Bill. What do you mean, have to? It might be better than ever throw you in jail. Looks I like these guys got stand. suited up for a oh, foosball you game. You'd better marry her anyway. You gotta marry her, Bill. She's got the wedding bell blues. Up, up, and away. I'll just throw this back here. Oh, I you I'm intrinsically like evil, and I've got a new jogging suit I'm showing off. Lift off of Earth Express. We understand it's a sight no tourist should miss. When would you be ready to lift off? Yes, this time we can pay the bill, okay? Okay, okay Mr. Faulty. The pump valve on number two. We are ready now. Passengers? He's got a computer in that briefcase. He's yeah, not I'm afraid sorry. to use it. can help with the heavy work. I'll get out there. That's Mr. Kaminsky, isn't it? Your engineer? What nationality is he? He's from Barcelona. It wasn't quite what I asked. We're all foreigners up here. Some more than others. Ready to go? Without the pistol, please. You don't take this off me twice. Then the trip's off. If that thing goes off in the ship, we'd never get back to explain why. Give it to me, Harry. But I'll feel totally naked without it. It's my only accessory. Give him the pearl earrings too, Harry. Let's hope we all have a profitable trip. Let you know in about four days. How, Sluggo? Shut up. That's the coffee. That should be ready in a minute or two. Okay, we're pressurized. You can take your helmets off. Just kidding. And I want the main course exactly 90 seconds after blast off. You are yes, a hungry Mr. little guy. Are you letting him navigate? He's got a better computer than we have. Can he use it? Because the counting miles per hour isn't so different than dollars per second. <laughs> as long as he remembers you can't get miles per hour on credit. <laughs> I love your wry night wet, control. my European friend. Zero two. Request takeoff clearance. Round trip, no landing away as usual. First class our coach, smoking or non. Zero two, you're clear. Mars Express due in 20 minutes. But are we clear? Zero two. I'll try to miss him. Out. <laughs> They really did a great job of antiquing that ship. Slap in the road tape, dude, and get the JD from under the seat. Hey, Melonhead, get off my foot! He traveled with Roller Derby Queen. It's great. 
Oh, it's Esther Williams. She's in a fishbowl. Got that course yet, Whitson? Relative to the elliptic, I want a course of Alpha 351, Beta 179, speed 17,500. Then a sherry, medium dry. It sounds as if he knows. It does, doesn't it? Do you think he means the uh, sort of over there? Oh, more or less, I suppose. I hope it's not too difficult for you. Not at all, Mr. Witt. Well, if you have an orbitograph, I hope I can make the situation clear to you. It's over there. Well, it's not new, but I think it works. Are we talking about the same thing here? Would you turn off Peter the Wolf, please? The Earth, the moon revolving round it. Now this year, this week, the asteroid is making its closest approach to the moon since 1998 on this course. It's the closest approach since I grew my bushy-wooshy sidebands. Just, just here, 45 hours from now. The importance of being earnest, that's where I saw him. A uh, gentleman Please caller, actually, but these rockets, as I was saying. The asteroid saying. will change to this orbit. You will observe that its speed relative to the moon is quite slow and that it is only visible from far side. The radar stations on near side cannot see it. You appreciate the importance of this. Well, if they could, we'd be in jail the moment we got back. Exactly. Have you ever been in jail? After You'd like it quite a lot. During this time, the asteroid will have come to within 10,000 miles of the moon. We shall return to it, take new measurements, reset the engines, and fire them again. Am I boring you? Lands on the moon. Crunch. I get the picture. The convoy's in from Fireside 5! Hmm? Oh, I'm glad they know what she said. Hey, there's a sale of pennies. Hide the garnishes, quick. All the knickknacks gotta be moved. Sure are a shiny bunch. Hey, it's Randolph Mantu. Sorry, I thought you were Ray on the way? Naga hide. Hey, it's Hee Haw 1999. Pretty soon they'll get those big uh, foam we're number one hands. Hey, anybody know where a guy can get some armor all around here? Hey, it's the same dance with different hats, but it's a completely different experience. Excuse me, ma'am. Someone didn't finish your haircut. Oh, my. I'm in love. Excuse me again, but do you know Mr. Wallace Taplin? Wally, yes, I know Wally. This looks like the Benny Hill show. Well enough, apparently. You a friend of his? No, I'm his sister. That's a great relief. Was he on this convoy? Well, if he was, I didn't see him. Well, what was his handle? You, uh, sit down, take a drink. Yes, yes, join us. Come. Three more rocket fuels, please. And an air freshener. You know, their rocket fuel contains and no I ethanol. But I haven't seen Wally in all. Maybe four months. And check. He sent me a cable to meet him here. You're just up from Earth? Yeah. You tried radio him? Oh, gosh, God, that satellite's out, isn't it? You'd think they'd have decent communications here on the moon, wouldn't you? No government ever spent one dollar until they'd lost five. Yeah, five of us. Hey, it's Buffalo Bob. Yeah. Contact the way we are around the back there. Why are they all oh, English? Jesus, it, it's a gator, babe. Because they're the only ones pale enough to simulate uh, being out of the direct sunlight. Any news, Mr. Applin? Something must have happened to him. Nobody's seen him for months. Although he may have just missed the convoy. I love that it's woman. It's pretty rough country out of Farside 5. Yes, that's well, we what I love that one. I've never known Wally Come on, you guys. Let's go. I want to stay and watch my babe. If you have any babe. news or want any help, let me know. You know, you guys, I was just thinking about that kind of dumb Moonopoly joke they got in there. It's just a stupid pun, but, it, you know, in the future, the games we play now are going to be a, a lot different with the future element involved. You know, like a Twister will probably be played on your tongue. Uh, yeah, and uh, Nintendo uh, would be Moontendo with the Super Lunar Mario Brothers. Right, no risk is riskier. 
Right, and sorry will seem to be the hardest game. And uh, say you're playing Clue, and uh, the answer might be Colonel Mustard in the command module li uh, with uh, laser bolos, because uh, it's uh, yes. spaceship. Yeah, uh, Bar Cheesy will be Green Cheesy. Right, Skittle Bowl will be the same, but it'll take a l even longer to set up because of no gravity. Uh, uh, chutes and ladders is replaced by vacuum tubes, uh, you know, like on the Jetsons, because that's the only way they can get around from yeah, place to place. Candyland's the same, but you should see the new flavors they've got. Right. Uh, uh, Kaboom is called Don't Smoke in the Ship because it's an oxygen rich atmosphere and uh, you could blow up and right. that would be. Bad. Right, and they won't have mice because they'll need to use them for research. You oh, know, so you no can't mouse play mousetrap. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Edge Sketch will finally be able to draw curved lines, I bet. Yeah. And uh, scruples aren't around anymore because people won't have any. Trivial Pursuit will be Trivial Moon Suit. Yeah, and now it's uh, win, lose, or draw. It's called win, lose, and draw oxygen. Right. Uh, <laughs> password has been replaced by games higher in fiber. Well, <laughs> I got a game from my past that's in my present, and I think we'll keep going into the future. You know how it works, guys. It's uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I knocked his block off. But you can press it back down again. It's Rock'em Sock'em. Whoa, moving side. Oh, Get out of here. Let's go. Cut. Don't rock him, sock him us anymore. Stop hey, let me it. at him. Let me at him. Come on, you guys. I'm white him. A 6,000 ton jewel. How would you like to meet the broad who could hang that around her neck? Well, she's probably got a boyfriend. Hey, it's Major Kong. Is that what they call a crotch rocket? Wow. I never knew outer space was so well lit. In space, no one can hear you what yawn. Is your this attached? On the cradle. Treat it gently. This is number three. It's as liable to go off early as late. That's in your safety line, Harry. I'll go down and get the leads from the other engines. Hey, get some tape while you're at it and uh, bring me back a soda. Anything but Mr. Pibb. Joel, isn't that the same shot done upside down? Well, kind of. What they do is they turn the camera over twice and they shoot it backwards at high speed into a mirror. Oh. Seems like it'd be easier to just shoot it upside down. Yeah, probably. engine is set for exactly 100,000 pounds thrust, then... Hey, it's a meat scale. Maybe he's trying to price that boulder. Looks pretty well marbled. Quarter inch exactly trim. One hour and 18 minutes. If number three goes off right on time. If it doesn't, it'll ruin the whole operation. I'll yeah, but if it, it does, it'll work. If it doesn't, off. just do it. So do all the rest. But it must fire exactly Shouldn't they have figured all this out on the ship? I'll stay here and give it a thump when you give me the countdown. When they do fire, she won't make like a spaceship, but she'll be building up fast. Will you be okay? Provided I get off in the first 10 seconds, yes. All right. Are you sure you'll be all right, Mr. Kemp? You take care of your calculations. I'll take care of myself. But uh, let's just try to work together, Thank okay? you for asking, anyway. Sure. My pleasure. Glad to do it. Let's do lunch. Don't lose your happy thoughts. Can't tell that they're just dangling from wires there. They look like bait. It's not easy being green. I'm curious, but yellow. 
Ah, frog and a bear together again. Waka, waka, waka. What? Here's the meat scale you ordered. Yeah, where's my Mr. Pib, though? Oops. See that? Means absolutely nothing. Fifteen seconds, Mr. Kemper. Not by my watch. Ten. Thirteen. Nine, eight. Eight. Two million. Forty-nine. Seven, one. Six, three. Five. five hut, hut, seven. Hut. Four. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Two. One. One. one Thump. Space Sounds by Chuck Mangione. Yahoo! A real Yahoo. Got five seconds to get free. Five, four, three. Hey, it looks like his stone passed him. What would have happened if he failed? It would have ended up in his socks. You know, at least he would have died with his birthstone, though. Are you okay, Bill? No, oh, I've yeah, been better. Man. Only it's a little lonely out here. Are you walking or would you like a lift? <laughs> I think I'll take a lift. Have you back at the hotel before you know it? Try to make it before the bar shuts. Wow, they're so versatile. It's kind of like uh, Swan Lake a go go. When does Wonder Boy reckon we should go out again? Three days. According to his box of tricks. Want a drink? Later. I am going to eat. They made some extra cash by selling this set to Donnie and Marie. A double moonflower, please, Len. In a dirty space tumbler. Buffalo stampede. Is that Norm Crosby? Or Crom Nosby. There's a lady been asking for you for the past couple of days. Space get up works every time. What's she drinking? Green Mary. What? Rocket fuel and cabbage juice. And a shot of bio. Which takes the taste away from which? I don't know. I only serve him. And take your money. I think he tips himself out of that. I don't know. He's gonna have to file a chapter 13 with all those uh, moon drinks. Well, you're paying for the garnishes. Yeah. Hey, how's the egg coming? Hi. Found your brother yet? No. Not on the convoy? Not on two convoys. And nobody seems to have seen him in nearly four months. Well, Farside is a big place. You just don't go visiting someone when it's a hundred miles of rough country and in a moon bug, which Hey, Florence Cheers. Henderson hairdo. Looks like she did it with Wesson oil. Mr. Kemp, do you know anything about moon mining laws? Mm, a little. Can you explain the two-year rule? Well, you got a claim for two years, and if you haven't found anything at the end of that time, you get thrown off. Somebody else gets it. There's quite a waiting list. Seems a bit unfair. Maybe, but the moon costs a lot of money to get started. And they can't have people just digging holes and not finding anything. Well, unless they call them craters. How long has your brother had his claim? Two years. Yeah, well, and three uh, days' time. Who's got the deed on that yet? forehead? But That's he what I'd like to know. He his cable. That's why I'm up here. Well, you better tell him to get over here and prove it before he loses his claim. By radio. Oh, no. He's talking to a lady. But the convoys, no, they wouldn't be quick enough. Mr. Kemp, will you fly me over there? I don't know. How fast do you go? I know I haven't got $10,000 on me now, but if Wally's found something, we'll pay you back as soon as we're selling it. I couldn't land on your brother's claim. That would hurt. It's much too rough country. But we could go to Farside 5. It's a 24-hour ride and a bug from there. You can owe it to me. Now, what the hell? I'm nearly rich anyway. Let's have another drink. Uh, can I finish the one I've got? Len, I'd like two more of uh, whatever they are. Sewage bills. 
You weren't thinking of taking the young lady for a ride, were you, Mr. Kemp? I'm a pilot for hire. You're already hired. Drop them. It'll only be a three-day trip. I'll be back in time. That's what the You're skipper said. Drop her. That would hurt her. to have your hand on me. I'm no Mr. doctor, Hubbard's but I'm pretty sure you got your on hand on me. Really owns. Hey, watch the slush puppy machine. Yeah, but nobody knows what your rules are. Always have your hair cut by a machine. And always look like Dennis Hopper. Ooh, he gave him a snuggie. In space, no one can hear a wedgie. Look out, Big Bird. Oh, magic screen. Oh, he should have seen that coming. Pick up the spare. Touchdown in 70 minutes. Be careful, we've just gone weightless. I know. Just like the Moon Express. Though uh, your ship is different in other ways. We no toilet it paper? Yeah, sorry about that. Night. You are in for a nice long night drive in a moonbug just built for two. I'll stay with the ship and give her a sprinkling. And get some sleep. And give her a sprinkling. Approaching re-entry point. That's our cue, dollface. Cool. Hey, could you turn down that stereo? The old west. In space, no one can art direct. I've seen Wally here in, uh, oh, must be nearly four months by now. I've tried to radio him a couple of times, but uh, it's always chancy in the mountain country. How about relaying it? Well, I could ask Nick Hunter to ask Louis Grenier to ask Tad Connell to pass on a message, but... Uh, but they're all dead. It'd be silly. ...to a kidney trouble the last fortnight, and I know that Nick went over to Moon City on the last convoy. On the other Do hand... I need to know this? I might be able to contact Bill Werther. Oh, no. Uh, he's off radio for the next couple of days. Uh, sorry, there doesn't seem to be any way. Well, when you didn't hear from him, didn't you think of declaring an emergency? Do you think this Six permanent wave is a good idea for my hair? Looks like big boy. Be. The satellite's only been dead for 12 days. I know that, but uh, nobody dies slowly on the moon. You know that. Hmm. Well, can I take a bug, then? Well, one's out. I said was bug light. to do an overhaul on the other. I'd need a thousand dollars deposit. Oh, I have that in my shoe. Your odor eater, thank you very much. I'm afraid you're over thank your you. credit limit. Do you have a Dr. Scholl's pad on you? Is it ready? As ready as she'll ever be. I guess she'll get you there. And back? Sure do hope so. Climb aboard. Oh man, she's cherry, man. Sven put on some thrush glass packs, man. He's got some twin headers with a 44 barrel. Screams. The van's pretty nice, uh, too. Uh, move over, unless you want to drive. Hey, how many girls have you had in your moon bug? Well, if you've got to go, you'd better do it now. How do you like my new Moon Sounds tape by Philip Glass? Hey, 
I know, Link, let's sing car songs. You know, like the Wiener Man song. Yeah, I know a Wiener Man. He owns a hot dog stand. He, sorry. How about another one? And so they set out in the Wiener car in search of the giant kielbasa. <laughs> We're out of gas. <laughs> Hey, there's Jacques Cousteau. Sorry, but this is a part of the moon that tourists don't usually see. If we pull the wrong lever out here, there's no guarantee we'll even be found. I'm sorry. But I'm not a tourist, Mr. Ken. I'm here to stay and work with my brother. I know it's a little bit rough now, but it'll be better when we fall in love later in the picture. I understand. How long does it stay dark? All night. Sun up in 40 hours. So that's like 100 hours. 200 degrees below zero. And up above boiling point when the sun's out. Don't worry, these bugs have efficient heating and cooling systems. We've always got the moon suits. Yeah, I guess if I had to do it over, I'd probably buy a foreign. I see what you mean about. We'll always be foreigners. No, I said I'd buy foreign. Why'd your brother pick this end of the moon? He didn't. It was the only claim left when he got here. That figures. What was he mining on Earth? Gold, some silver. Last thing he found was copper up in Montana. Sold out cheap to a big company. He always thinks there'll be a bigger and better strike over the next hill. He came over a big hill this time. Funny. Your father? He blew himself up five years ago, dynamiting for emeralds in the Andes. And your mom? I hardly knew him. He was always off somewhere, digging a new hole over a new hill. You're the Bill Kemp who was the first man on Mars. That's right. It's funny, meeting you like this. Driving a hired moving bug? No. I can remember when we got the news that you'd landed on Mars. I was just a schoolgirl then, and I wasn't very interested in space travel. OK, OK, rub it in. I'm old. Then the astronomy teacher showed us Mars one night and told us how far it was. Still is. I remember your name from then. The man who'd flown a spaceship for 40 million miles. Okay, well, you're 12, I'm 100. I get it already. Oh, I could still recite you the names of the crew. That's more than I could. You ever think about renting out your forehead for advertising? Why'd you give it up, exploring? It gave me up. After Mars and Jack Harvey got on Venus, the corporation decided that passengers was where the money was. Sure, it would have taken some money and some new inventions, too, to get uh, Mercury and Jupiter's moons. But somebody's got to do it. Jupiter, that's a planet, isn't it? Anyway, I wasn't a passenger pilot, so I quit. OK, I lied. They got me on a morals charge. I understand. You do? Chinese good for you? Hey, it's a souvenir Always bank. Always something over the next hill. I know. And always on borrowed money. But there is something over the hill. That's the trouble for a woman. All space travel is just a big way of getting out of the house on a Saturday evening. Well, if you don't have anything better to do. And we sure don't. his wiener wife. I want to join his wiener life. Hey, nice steps. Looks like they should have boxing gloves at the end of them. Looks like they're kind of crawling out of the Tupperware orange. Now those suits are different colors so you can tell who's who. If she gets uh, confused, she should just remember that she's her. Hmm? Huh? Well, they left their dome light on. Someone's going to have to get a jump start. Triple A's even going to charge him for that run. Oh, brother. Her brother lived in a porta potty. Wow, 
Wow, look at it in there. Your brother was really a slob. Hey, is there air coming out of your suit or are you playing a trumpet? Skin sample. Looks valuable. Wish I had me one of them plows. Could do driveways. Where are you? Around the corner. Don't wander off. You've got to stay in sight. I'm sorry. A setup like that is bound to scare off trick or treaters. Do you know what this is? A piece of rock. Looks like your With brother's a brand kneecap. Of in it. And a very rich one. Wally did find something. Are you sure? I know a little about geology. Oh, well, we all know a little bit. Where could he have gone? Not far, or I'd have taken his bug dozer. Now, just how disappointed would you be if you never saw your brother alive again? Look, there's someone there. Oh, him, he's always there. It's a space lawn jockey. Everyone's got him at the end of their driveway. Now, remember, there'll be three of us now, and uh, you're the one that's you in the blue, all right? Oh, he's lost weight. He looked much better heavy. I thought he just made a mistake. He managed for two years without making one, and he didn't puncture his suit. He had to have oxygen to look like, to go as he did. One full, one empty. Which one do you think he used? Just a stupid mistake. Well, I bet he'll never do it again. Let's use our precious oxygen and bury him. See this? It's his Nintendo. He would have wanted me to have it. Well, if he'd have known me. I'm keeping it. Honey, cookies are done. Hold it. Oops. Looks like we got company. It's the unwelcome wagon. You out there, identify yourselves. Okay, will this help? They call me Shooter. <laughs> Damn moon goons. They come in great flavors, too. There's raspberry red, burnt umber, and of course, chartreuse. Oh man, and I bet that moon buggy was on his card, too. Excuse me, I'm nervous. I'm sorry, you'll have to excuse me. Is there a seven second delay? Can I swear? Come on out, both of you. I will drill you like a sieve. What kind of sieve? That ought to keep them busy. Don't shoot. The girl's hurt. You've got to help me. Does this help? Timpani gun. Works every time. Well, you got lime green, just raspberry red and lemon yellow to go. But remember, tricks are for kids. Now just remember, they're the guys in color. in here. If we don't die, you want to catch a movie or something? I mean, if you're not alive, I totally understand. It won't hurt my feelings or anything. Back in the 
Hey, plow your driveway, mister. Jeez. Ah, oh, he killed a blow-up doll. Soup's on, he said flatly. Looks like he's going after a crack house. Wow, oh, lawn and garden attachments. That guy's got all the candy. Uh, just take a little off the torso, please. Music festival. Hey, shut the door. What are you born in a vacuum? Hey, slippery guy. He's playing possum. Told ya. Whoops. Hey, hurt little fella? Quickly, give me your brother's pack. How do I know it's you? I'm wearing white, you idiot! What good is it if they're on the moon if they just reenact the atrocities from Earth? That's a good seal impression. This one's this going back to the store. Yeah. I think I may have just put on the waste no, container. All right. Whatever's in here, it isn't air. How do we get out of here? Our bugs written off. Let's try this one. Yeah, it's got lawn attachments and a Blaupunk stereo, factory air, the works. Oh man, it smells like a mushroom factory in here. Those guys were really evil. Leave your suit on. It's 200 degrees below zero in here. What's the wind chill, though? Can't we turn the heating on? Oh, it's all shot to hell. What, the plot? And we've only got power for about 150 miles, but not for heating and cooling as well. We'll have to stay in our suits all the way. Can't do that either. The charges won't last more than a few hours. 150 miles. It's but if we were 200 miles back to My charge is wearing out, yeah, too. The track, but this thing's built to go over mountains. Oh, he always says that when he gets in trouble and gets lost. What a great movie. Great actresses, too. I like the babe with the great uh, haircut. The one with the Eddie Munster page boy look? Nah, I like the gator-headed chick. The one with the eel skin skull cap? No way! Ugh. Hey, watch it! You're talking about the woman I love here. She's got style. She's got looks. Mm -hmm. She's got a 45 strapped mm -hmm. to each thigh, and she knows how to use them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's a darn sight better than that twiggy little stick woman you have your eyes on. Hey, what are you saying? All I'm saying is that you little thin-limbed, scrawny, empty-headed types seem to stick together so well. Oh, you want a piece of me? I'm standing right here. When this is over, you and me going round and round, bado a bado. Hey, come on, hey. you guys. What's going on? Break it up here. What's the problem? Hey, stay out of this, Joel. This is between me and the fire plug. That's it, that's it! Stand back, Joel! You're using my oxygen! Come on, let's go! Listen, you guys, if there's gonna be a fight, we're gonna do it my way. Not that... Oh, I want your head on a plate.
kids, when you got a beef, don't take the law into your own hands. Take it to zero G. Anti-gravity. It's not just for breakfast anymore. We're going to make it. What, are they driving through Snack Canyon? Fair on you. This is where it starts. It'll take a little time yet. Automatic pilot. Boy, I must have the Zackleys. My suit's pretty steamy. You better turn your insulation off, save the blast of the charge. We might need it later on. Ow, there's hair back there. How far now? About 80 miles. It looks as though the worst is over. It seems pretty flat from here. Just when we need the shade. Take off your moon suit. He asked her, he asked her. Boy, I wish I was him. What are you gonna do now? Now that you're not gonna work with your brother? I'm going to Disney Dr. World. Uh, who said uh, she's not working with her brother? Any jobs going for a good space shipping clerk up here? Oh, could be. That's a bad thing. Thanks. Oh, that feels Bill. good, thanks. I'm sorry I dragged you into all this. I'm not. It'd be a bit silly for Bill Kemp to die just here, on the moon. After all the places you've been, I mean. It'd be a bit silly for Bill Kemp to die any place, as far as I'm concerned. So sit down and start telling me how much farther we have to go. Got to get past his attitude first. Whoa, Joel, give me a hand. I'm shorting out here. What oh, is this? just this? film. Don't worry, Servo. Focus! Oof. Oh, honey, could you put some more water on those rocks? Whew. Nothing better than this. This is the life. Is there any water left? Just the gallons you're putting out. Chinese again. Hmm. That's my specimen. Well, what's the matter? Yowza. Nothing from where I'm standing. Well, nothing. Not a thing. I knew there had to be a good part of this. If it gets movie. any hotter, I'll very likely take the rest of it off. Hey, pray for heat, huh? Yeah. How much farther? Well, the script says a few more miles. Only a few miles. How many of you? I don't know. Seven? Ten? Which is it? Seven or ten? I'm sorry, but seven means we might make it. Ten means we won't. What's the trumpet mean? Look, we've got power for another couple of miles. Then we walk. We've only got an hour's insulation charge left in the suits. Shut up that jazz combo. I'm nervous enough as it is. The overheating is melted. The pressure but I only hope. Into your suit. Oh, damn, I thought we were taking the suits off. Suicide door. Those exploder boats come in handy. Of course it's going to explode. They parked over a campfire. Quick in the crack. Wait! Oh, the jazz combo is still in there. The day the music died. 
Guess they won't try that again. Who decided freeform jazz was the right thing for the soundtrack? A great burger. Let's beat cheeks. All right, Bill. You're beat under the rush. arrest. Fine. Now, has anybody got a nice, cool drink? Don't sure. say hi. Hope he likes rocket fuel. She just I flopped down on that floor, Micah. Uh, suddenly appeared. She always gets a man deal. Well, you've really been running up an account this time. Yeah, and you're the one with a funny skull. ...to breach the pressure of an outside room. Malicious damage to hotel property. Miss Taplin's brother has been murdered out there. Come on. You can do better than that. Yes, well, three other characters got killed, but I did that myself. When you get into trouble, you really jump off the top board, don't you? She's really got sort of a Julie Andrews quality, doesn't she? Someone yeah, I think she got that trip. skull cap from Thoroughly Modern Millie. One thing we can check right now. Wally Taplin was killed with one of these. Tell me what you think it smells like. Cheese balls. Uh, pine forest. Watermelon? Wet canvas. Just one sniff. Could be cyanide. Cyanide, that's my favorite. Funny, I just took it off my own suit. Smells like me. And I didn't like that wet like canvas crack either. Air to me. But you thought it was cyanide. Now you sold them as air bottles. You sell all air bottles around here. Uh, yeah, but I distinctly Why? remember not selling that air bottle. You would better answer him. They, they made me. They, they wanted Taplin's claim. It, it was due to expire. It seems it found something on it, and they had to have it. What for? Tell them. To land an asteroid on it. Pizza's ready. It's a brand new car! Mr. Hubbard! They found out about it. You've got to get me off the moon. Hogan, I wouldn't say any more about that if I were you. So, you've reached the confession stage and in front of the Bureau of Investigation. Is that wrong? Should I have not done that? I'm glad we got here on time, Mr. Kemp. I was afraid some of my associates might... Never trust a man with a collar made of shinal vinyl. ...to this project and would have disposed of you. I tried. Really? All three of them? All three. Even Raspberry Red? <laughs> I really did underestimate you, Mr. Kemp. So we're three men short, then. We should make a note to engage. Mr. Harbour, you're under arrest. I don't think so. Do you, Harry? Uh, I'm sorry, I was dreaming about rabbits. Let me get this straight. You got that lost to murder my brother just so that you could have a place to land an asteroid. Oh, uh, in a nutshell, yeah. Speaking of nutshells. Oh, well, I'll get that. That's okay. Not a problem. Mr. Kemp, please. Don't get yourself killed unnecessarily. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, are those French cuffs? I suppose I look rather silly to you, Bill. I don't think I'm going to be able to get you out of this one. This time, Bill. Don't talk to this. I'm going to, going to miss you, Bill. Even the, the rows look good. Bury my turtle hat at wounded knee. Quite safe, sir. None of the shots pierced the devil. Yes, well, I believe we need to take off for the asteroid in just under one hour. If you think I'm gonna land that thing for you now, you're... But I do! Whitson, 
When was the last time we abandoned the project without any profit? Antarctica. Stonehenge. Oh, yes, I remember. There was no oil there, was there? No, no but there is sapphire in this asteroid, Mr. Kemp. So? If she's dead, I could scoop her out and make a terrarium out of her. Somebody say something. Harry, shoot the young lady. Oh, uh, which one? Ah, oh, the one that's not dead, you idiot! Oh, yeah, 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 right, right. Huh? All right, okay, don't move. Yeah, 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 I knew that. Got my gun back. Come out here where the boyfriend can see you, love. Sort of encourage him in his work. That's it, Bill. Keep it up, buddy. You're looking great. Now, could someone get me a medium sherry? Very nice one. Thank you. If I'm going to stay down here and thump number three again... I'll need a magazine. I'll need a long line. Like a soliloquy or a monologue? They're up in the passenger deck. Uh, should I make coffee too, Mr. Hefner? This is one of my best escape tricks ever. I chain myself to this ladder, see? And then... Oh, hi. Deck, you mean? I think that's everything, sir. It will land 16 minutes after firing. Give or take a millionth of a Excellent second. Excellent timing, Whitson. Mr. Taplin's claim expired half an hour ago. No legal problems. Are you fair? Yes. On your right, two rows of switches. Bottom row. Has that guy ever spoken a complete sentence? All right. What now? On your left, the big throttle lever. Put it on the way back. But before you do that... Oh, no smoking in your pressure suit. First rule in the book. Hothead. I bet he won't try that again. The engineer must have got free. But he yes. can't <laughs> suppose you think the girl is lying that thing. In the maintenance locker there, there is a buzzsaw. Mr. Kemp, can your engineer land that thing on his own? Well, he's not good at parallel parking, but if it's a diagonal spot, he no. can do it. I don't think so. Then he needs you as much as we need the ship. And vice versa. Mr. Kaminsky, if you hear me, we're ready to go. You could have just now. grabbed that. Go get him, Harry. That's right, Harry. Come and get me. He's going to come, Mr. Hubbard. I know that. It's your gun. Now start earning your pay for once. Oh, I can't spend it if I got a hole through me. person watch their own head. Huh? Ugh. So that's Didn't what hit the... my head. Music to shoot thugs by. Now, let's be reasonable, Mr. Kemp. Come here.
light bulbs. They're surfing. I can fly, I can fly. I'm the luckiest boy in the world. Thank you, idiot. I won, I won, I'm the best, I'm the best. Works every time. <laughs> High five? No, just a hand is fine, thanks. Take lots of pictures. So long, suckers. Pressure normal. No leaks. A few lentils, though. <laughs> Third one. Eh, soup lovers will get it. United Nations space she missed his forehead. That's pretty tough to do. B. No sex is permitted in space. You Probably because of the fiberglass suit. Most of them. Nobody else is ready either. Wow, apparently I'm dead. They'll reach the moon in exactly one minute. On target? On target. And whoever takes over from Hubbard gets 6,000 tons of sapphire. That makes you a very attractive woman. I'm already and attractive. Prove that your brother was murdered and that he'd found nickel. Yeah, the go on. Doesn't allow profit by murder. Hmm. Five seconds. Four. Three. Yeah! Yeah! You're yeah! Fire, Sparky. <laughs> Woo! 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 Zero two. for Moon City. Oh, by the way, what's your room at the hotel like? Why don't you find out? I don't oh. get it. What do you mean? Right. Show him huh? the paint or something? Yeah. They also have a paint contracting outfit. <clears throat> I hope this turns back into a cartoon kind of to seal the whole thing up. Yeah. Kind Look of cohesive. At what? Kind of book ended. Yeah, yeah. What was that one uh, song? Oh, the Wiener Man song? Yeah, how does that go? Uh, um, oh, we, we have to get out of here. I want to be a wiener man, I will be a wiener man. Yeah, and we'll give you everything. Wiener, Wieners on down. All right, it's the end of the movie. Hey, Gypsy, how you doing? Oh, fine, good, Joe. okay, it's good to have you back. And I it's love time. You, Joe. Thank you, Gypsy, you're good, okay. Oh. Now, you know what we're going to do next is do movie review game. And that means tell me a good thing and a bad thing about the movie, and you get Ram Chip. Hey. Hey. Ram Chip. Hey. Ram Chip. Hey. Okay, Tom Servo, you go first. Well, this movie made my gorge rise. Okay, and a, and a bad thing. And <laughs> okay, seriously. I thought that the movie uh, provided an opportunity for us to examine the various inaccuracies often portrayed in airsoft space movies such as this one. I see. You're really bucking for that ram chip, aren't you, pal? Ram chip, yep. Ram chip. Well, uh, I like you. You're a good self starter, and I like the cut of your jib. Here's your ram chip, Pally. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, Crow, how are you doing? Ah, fine. Do you want to tell me what good thing and a bad thing about the movie? Uh, it was groovy, and I mean that in a good way. Okay, and the bad thing? It was groovy. Right, you mean that in a bad way, right? Yeah, okay. exactly. All right, exactly. Okay, ready? Are you ready, girl? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me a good thing and a bad thing about the movie. Richard Basehart? Oh. Richard Basehart. Okay, where well, you get a ramp chip what? there, yeah. Okay, good. That's wrong. All right, okay, well, we got another letter to read, and uh, thanks for everybody who's written in so far. They really help us keep going up here in space. Kamba, can we have that up on the screen? 
This one comes from a guy named Ryan Weisbrock from Illinois. Dear Joel, Tom Serbol, and Crow. Mm -hmm. Tom Serbol. Right. I'm 14 years old. I love your show. I start laughing so hard when you make comments during the movie, Tears Come to My Eyes. Tom Serbol is the best because his voice is so Thank deep you. when he, he makes a joke. It sounds funny like when he said, oh, I hate to shoot a butt like that. Oh, I hate to shoot a butt like that. All right, anyway, he uh, later Magical. asks about being Serbol, and uh, it's Tom Serbol, but uh, it's an honest mistake. Anyway, there's a picture here, too. Show that, Cambot. It's really a good artist, actually. So anyway, that ends the experiment for today. What Should do you think, sirs? What about the address? I got it. I got it. Okay. Send it to the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Fan Club, P.O. Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota, 55343. Send them quick. Well, not bad, not bad. Hey, how's my hair now? Go like this. You look like big boy. File that. Until next time, flabby cakes. Ah!